Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper Collection, uh, part, uh, Sly, the Thievius Raccoonus. So far, I have redone all the levels at normal speed due to the glitch. Now, I will jump in this cannon and we will face the final boss again. <clears throat> and I will give you a step by step walkthrough on this one. Because he's sort of my. one of my most pet peeves. We have a guest. The only thing is. I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine. You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. Okay. Part one. You just... Ah, oh, crap. I screwed that part up. You see, he just jumps around like a big bloated frog he is. And... He takes his own amends to... deflating after all that flubber of his just goes away. I mean, something's really disgusting about those flies. They're like fattening for him, isn't it? Oh, there we go. I, the video might must have stopped flagging. Ah, great. Wow, the video is not stopping itself this time. Someone call the Coast Guard because we just had someone towed. Jump! 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 Blast it all! You're dead. You've beaten me! Well, gloat all you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mugshot. My villainous cohort in Utah, you will see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of Feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. We're all set to go to Mesa City! And we are going to start things off with a normal routine Mesa walk. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. 
Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. <laughs> the neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. gambling. The reason why I call this a routine walk is I like I thought you said either. Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. <laughs> I love that rough translation. And with the dive move... Oh, wait. What? Oh, what was... Oh, that was just... That was just bad. I mean, seriously, that, that was a perfectly good ninja spire dive. Now, when Morley said a snake couldn't slither in, I'll get back to you on that one. Ow. I guess butting heads wasn't a good idea. Who knows, I may gamble my fate away. The risk is high. But. Oh wait, that pun is not supposed to be used for this part. I'll use it when the time is appropriate. Now this is how you properly take care of a dog. You give him a good whack on the face with a cane. See? Works every time. You never butt heads with him. So no butting heads. Just a good whack on the face. Got that, everyone? What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a goner. <coughs> nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Which is my very favorite thing. Yep. Almost got half the clues already.
Yep. Oh. I am terribly sorry, guys. I did not mean for that to happen. Wasn't supposed to die a Mesa. Now I'm pissed. Hey, doggy. Come on. Well, it looks like I have to take precautionary measures on your ass. Oh. Yep. <clears throat> oh, that's the vault. Which we need 12 more clues for. We'll get back to that part later. On a speed run, I normally get these things. I... okay. Just slam and go. Slam and go. Very slow lasers. Seven. Nah. Just imagining things. Hmm. That's strange. Yeah, there's, uh... One more part I'm missing. Oh well, I'll get to that part later. For now... We're keyed on the moment. So no wonder Raleigh said a snake couldn't slither in. They had floor alarms, but they didn't expect a flying raccoon! Mugshot surf. Well, this mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly.